We recorded the podcast already. And it was supposed to be for YouTube, but it went wild. We talked about testicles, mm -hmm. our parents catching us shagging, and our guest gave out his address. Woo! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see all of that madness, patreon.com slash mechanic starts from one pound a month and you get a weekly bonus episode as well. Yeah, so what I say hello and thank you to our new Patreon, Jack Tuffy. I think his name is Jack. I'm not very sure about that. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Mechanic Show. Brrr, jungle is massive. We do not do cultural appropriation on this podcast. No, we do cultural appreciation. Yes, and this week we have a guest. Let's see what's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure where this is going. Ryan Kearney. Pew! Hello. You right? Yes, lad. Let's yeah. go, right. Ryan Once Kenny. again, a lovely introduction. How you doing, mate? Yeah, this time right, it's yeah. shorter. How you doing? What's up, baby? <laughs> no, I, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm calm, relaxed, chill. You <laughs> said you have a poem for us. I do. Yes. Hit me up. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna read a. I, I wrote this for you, mate. Right. Okay. Here's a comedy poet, by the way. For uh, that man. Yeah. Don't tell everyone that because then I don't get booked. Okay. So. <laughs> Uh, so just just for context, uh, I've known you for quite some time, even pre yes. pre pandemic. Mm. Uh, I've known Mike. Uh, we've gigged together quite a lot. We we get on together. I would yes. say we'll do see after this podcast. <laughs> uh, so I wrote a poem for you. Okay, okay, right. And before I, before I read the poem any further, I just want to say that this comes from the heart. Good. Okay. So it's called poem for Mike. It's unfinished, but I think I've got most of it. Okay. Small. Okay, so that's the poem for Mike. Uh, yeah. So I think I think I've I think I've capulated everything I've learned about you these past five years. Taking shots at the host. We're loving it. It's not a shot. It's just truth. Fuck it, hell, lad. Roasted me over here. I was expecting like, how fucking big is your notepad? I was expecting over here like a Shakespeare poem or whatever. You know, I, I could do that, but I'll need more detail about you, which I'll learn about this podcast. And maybe, maybe if I never come on again. I might finish the poem. Well, if you watch the episode, we had hundred and something episodes. This hundred and ten or something. Yes. Thank you for having me as your 110th guest. It means a lot. Yeah. Well, it's just like a random number, mate. Yeah. It doesn't mean much less. <laughs> <fucking else. laughs> hey, subscribe to the channel. I forgot to say at the beginning. Yes. Whisper into the ear of the YouTube channel and click it. Boop, boop, boop. Here you go. Here you go. We did the plugs out of the way. No, it doesn't. Like the number doesn't mean, you know, it doesn't mean much. It means a lot to me. Good. Thank you. But I was expecting a bigger poem, bro. He got, he got me, though. You know what I mean? I was like, oh, that's so nice of him. He sat down and he was watching throughout the show and getting yeah. all the references. Yeah, yeah. I I just think it encapsulates everything that needs to be said about me. Yeah, how tall are you, bro? I'm I'm at least five ten. Uh, really? Yeah. You fucking tall that. Damn. No, at least. I mean, I might be five ten, <laughs> but at least five ten. I've never actually, I never actually done me height. So like, I I I could be anything. Between. You know, you're not short when you've never measured yourself properly. Yeah, yeah. I measure myself. On a weekly basis. I mean, I'm big enough to go on a smiler at Alton Towers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 5'5 five five on a good day, bro. Okay, what you day? You know what I'm saying? Huh? <laughs> what day is that? Today is not a good day. Okay. <laughs> 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 no, it's cool. It's cool. I, 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 like, I, I like someone who embraces their uniqueness. And to... Yeah, well, I call it mental disorders, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, uniqueness. Yeah, that, that's a politically correct way to put it. I love it. Because I, li I listened to a previous podcast and you said, was, was your mother five foot? Oh, my mom is five feet, yeah. Oh, wow. So was your dad six foot? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hit the I that, wish. That's how it works. Like, I wish. Oh, like, it's so funny because like, they divorced when I was like, six or seven yeah, yeah. and you know my mom after that throughout the years you know she dated and stuff and like introduced me to some guys or whatever oh that's nice they were all tall nice my dad is 5'4 my dad is 5'4 <laughs> and I was like the only man in your life that is short is my dad everybody else is a basketball player you know they're so tall <laughs> oh literally they're all like six feet or six two or six three oh, or whatever wow. and I was like god damn it I hate being short and small Why? it's no, horrible I'd like it you can like reach the bottom shelves <laughs> that's where they keep all the discounted yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. That's as the brand store stuff is on the top shelf. Yeah, that's not. That's My not, missus, she's very it. tall. I say this every episode, but I have. It's she's six feet. So when we go to places, so yeah. when when we go to like uh, comic book stores and stuff, because yeah, yeah. I'm a big nerd, and for some reason they keep stuff 
way at the top. So, mm-hmm. so I literally said, God, can you can you pass me that toy? And she literally passes me a toy. And I'm like, oh, look at this. It's so happy. <laughs> little Deadpool toy. I'm like a little kid, bro. It's horrible. You know? That's no, nice. But everybody says, oh, I like your height or whatever. Yeah, because you like Aaron Wood was here. And I was like, I like your stature. And I was like, you're 6'2", bro. You, you're not affected by this. You know what I mean? Well, because a man of your height, and there's nothing wrong with uh, people of your height, but you have to take extra care of your hair. Because people can see, like, oh yeah, oh defo. Where I don't do anything with my hair, I just oh, wash it. Oh, you're not in the that morning. tall guy. Come on, I'm you're massive. barely six feet. <laughs> you're barely six feet. Come uh, on, guy. No, I'm average. If you were Everything on Tinder, average. if you were on Tinder, you barely like you know that cut off line, six feet cut off line. You barely fit in there. You have to lie. I've ne- like, genuinely never been on Tinder. I didn't know there. Was, I didn't know you had to do because you're not height. six feet. That's why, bro. They don't allow people below six feet. I lied there. I was like, I was six one. They don't fucking. How the fuck they gonna know? Do they? Can you like categorize? Like, can you search by height? Yeah, that's a bit controversial, isn't it? That's a bit convenient, oh, isn't okay. it? <laughs> <laughs> How is that controversial? <laughs> I mean, do. dude, it's so crazy because you can search by age. I think nationality, race, height. Probably income, you know, like literally everything. Oh, wow. Crazy okay. that, you know? But the high thing is because some women, they don't fuck about. They don't fuck with this short people guy. I had a girl when we went out. And first of all, if you're a short guy on Tinder, when you start ch- chatting yeah. with them, before you meet them, make sure you, n- you <laughs> let them know. <laughs> you can't it's, see the height from the profile picture. It's, it's a big, you know, just make. <laughs> I had a girl, we were texting she was French, right? And she was a bit weird because she was like, oh my God, we're getting along so well yeah. and we're texting for like four days straight. And I was like, you know, and she lived maybe Manchester or Liverpool, yeah. I don't know. And I was like, let's let's meet. And she was like, okay, I'm looking forward to it, all that stuff. And I was like, oh, just to let you know, ha, 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 you know, like I'm a bit on the short side. And I was thinking like we're getting along. Mm-hmm. It's not going to be an issue. And she was like, oh. Blocked you. And just like, no, no, oh, how, how tall are you? And I was like, well, I'm... Five foot six with my uh, f- five five, you know, yeah. five five. She was like, "Oh no, I'm so sorry, blah blah blah." And I was like, "I'm five six, so I'll put my big boy shoes on." <laughs> I-, I had like they're yeah, yeah, yeah. they're Heels. so thick, and I put like little inserts that yeah. give you an inch extra. So I'm like literally five six. She was like, "Oh no, I'm very sorry," and she literally is like, "We cannot do this. I'm very sorry." And I was like, "Okay, how about just let's just get a drink?" Because she was like a such a fun person, you know. And I was like. Let's just be mates. You know, yeah. I don't I don't want I'm I'm not gonna go after you sexually or whatever. Let's just have a drink. She was like, No, I can't do it. And I was like, come on, you cannot just have a nice conversation. Uh, and she said, the reason I can't do that is because I cannot be seen with somebody yeah. who is shorter than me. I mean, I'm sorry, bro, because it sounds like that that to fair, I can see the trauma in your eyes from from that day. Oh, uh, see just the a, tears. yeah, yeah, I see the tears. <laughs> and listen, uh, sorry, man. Uh, and I, I asked her, how tall are you? And she said, 5'5 five, five or 5'6. Five, and I was like, what? I told her she's like 6'1 or 6'2. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're literally the same height. What are you talking about? She said, no, he has to be taller. I cannot be seen. And I was like, okay, there, man. Well, my fiance is a similar height to me. Too, I think I've only got like two centimeters, mm. two centimeters on it. There's nothing wrong. You, you two, you and that French lady, you could be best friends by now oh no uh, this has been years it's three years ago i'm mean, with my missus now she's six feet we, when we walk together it's hilarious i'm, I'm like up to here you know like, <laughs> sh- they, I, they so, probably think that she's picking her kid from school or something like, like that when you know? see one of those big bruiser guys with a pug <laughs> <laughs> yes that is literally us yes. <laughs> yeah, you're just yeah, like, she would love yeah those that two analogy. don't go together but i bet they have a happy life <laughs> we're getting along great oh lovely no no that's really nice yeah day. i've always i've always thought when i'm at home Thinking, how's Mike Yannick and his missus getting on? And now, <laughs> now I know you're getting on great. That really validates all those things. All those you wake thoughts up in about. the middle of the night, yeah, it? like and, covered in cold sweat. You're yeah, like, how are they doing? I know, I know. Yeah, and now I know. So thank you for that. Right. Can I go now? Are you leaving? Well, now I know that. That's, ah. all, that's, 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 that's all I came for. <laughs> Too many jokes. Because oh, I'm so short and the jokes are going over my head, you see? Uh-huh. Ah, uh-huh. save the situation over here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, lad. How you doing? What's up? Uh, uh, um, uh, this tell is me nice. more. Tell me more. Then, so what do you need to know? Oof, I don't I'm an know, open book. Man. Like, would I literally you... gave my address on Patreon. I'm an open book. Yeah, you literally gave out all the information before you met your missus. Have you ever been like on Tinder or dating? No, never internet? been on Tinder. Never been on Tinder. Uh, never been on Match.com, Yahoo, Ask Jeeves, any of those things where you find women. Never been on those. I just uh, my current partner. In fact, work was my Tinder. Mm. So. My current partner lived 
lived at, no, worked at the same place I did. We met. Uh, oh, we, yeah. worked, we worked at supermarket. We met down the aisle, and now we're going down the aisle. Hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> uh, and she she used to work like on the fresh department near where the meal deal stuff was. I used to work on the booze, and let me tell you, the booze in that meal deal had never been so full. <laughs> The amount of time I used to spend down there filling up booze just, just just to get... Right, here's another story. Not interesting, not funny, but cute. I think it's cute. Is this a cute podcast? Oh, th- this, cute. this podcast is about cuteness. It's cute. So, yay! Cuteness. <laughs> uh, right. We synchronized that. Yeah, that, that was well, harmonized. That yeah, was yeah, lovely. Yeah. Let's start a band. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, she, I, knew, I found out she liked quizzes, so I set up an entire work quiz. No! Just to get her out of work, to see her out oh, of work. Dude. So I had to write a quiz, get a venue, invite all the people at work just to see her at work. And then we watched Minions, which I, I think you're in, right? <laughs> I was Gru, yes. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to take over the world, Minions. I have a big plan. Yeah, so that's basically I'm going how. to steal the moon. That's that's kind of cute. I don't need I don't need any of this swipe right. I don't. I generally don't know if it's swipe right or left for the one you want to match with. That's right. how out of the loop I am. Uh, Think, uh, right. it's that so that's that's left? right. Uh, no, hold on, well, left, hold right. your L's, hold right. your L's out. Uh, that's that's right, yeah. So you so swipe that, right for yeah, the ones, yeah, you yeah. Want. I think, right, okay. uh, isn't it, Jacob? I think you've been on Tinder recently, no, not recently, but I know that it's right for the yes and left, yeah. No. Okay, it's been a while okay. for me, almost two years now. <laughs> Our relationship <laughs> is going so well, fucking smashing. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't think a man like me would flourish on Tinder anyway. I think why I, I, I think, think I'm more of a certain, you know, yeah, well, you need to get. Looking at me, I look like a guy from Making a Murderer. I was about to say yeah. serial killer by yeah, yeah. charm, you know. Like, yeah, and there's never a profile you. picture that doesn't look like a crazy, crazy dude. So Some uh, women are into that, you know, Charles Manson. You know. <laughs> no, I, I don't want. I don't want to attract the people who are into Charles Manson. That's that's not my. That's not but you my know, point. Charles Manson. He, I think he was married three times or something like that. Oh look! Oh, what a guy! Uh, oh yeah, there we go. Cool Told you, to... I look like Stephen Harvey from Making a Murder. You actually did. <laughs> <laughs> Just with combed hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why I don't wear on his chops anymore. Because <laughs> I like get you. recognized. I still have my pictures taken in front of like a school corridor. But other than that, <laughs> I look so much. What do you think? Okay, so how about this? What do you think your opening phrase is going to be on Tinder? Like you match with a girl. I'm and- sexy and a poet. Oh, that's gonna be your opening phrase. Oh, that's yeah. clever. That that's good, isn't it? Yeah, that's fucking good. And then, and then no one will match with me. So then I'll be happy, bunny. What do you think your bio, you know, uh, information is going to? You know, they have the profile information. What do you think that's going to be like? Uh, you know what? I've never even thought about doing it. It's hard. I'm hard. I hate talking about myself, obviously. But I think. Uh, Wait, well, bro, you here? The you write. You write my bio. You know me for long I love long talking enough. about myself. You yeah, know? I know. That's, that's why it's called the mechanic <laughs> show. It's like called the Jacob the producer show. You know what I'm saying? No, that'd be weird. Yeah, uh, you, you you write my bio. Now. So okay, so I'll tell you my bio. Okay. My bio was all of my. You know the comedians say you should never have a picture of you on stage on Tinder. I don't yeah. know if you've heard that. No. All of my pictures were me on stage. Yeah, yeah. like all of them, like seven pictures. You do look good on stage, to be fair. It, That's the only time you dress, I look good. You dress up well. Nah, I dress like an accountant for the mob or something like that. Well. You know? You know, I look like an accountant for the mob. You know what I mean? Like with my slip back here and like fucking sweaters and shit. Hey, forget about it. You know, I look good in front of the camera. Yeah. But like, otherwise, that'd not. be bad for an accountant to say, you forget about it. Hey. <laughs> it's like my taxes due. Hey, forget about it. It's like, no, seriously, I'm in trouble with HRMC. <laughs> Are you talking to me? It. Yeah, Bison. I'm talking to you. Bison, don't worry about it. It's not about forget family. It. Yeah, no, it's about accountants. Do your job. Oh my god, that'll great they'll do an amazing bit, you know, if you're like an accountant of the mob but you're like super e you know, like super Italian American. We're, we're in the red guys, this business guy. Hey, forget about it. It's like, uh, also I can't do accents, so I don't whatever that's Import can... export, hey I'm walking over here, guy, pay attention. Okay. You know? Oh, that's amazing. So mine was if this gets weird, I will probably talk about it on stage yeah. and on my podcast. Mm-hmm. And they like that, you know? Mm-hmm. And my profile picture is, was me with a fur coat on stage, yeah, right? Yeah. And they usually text me like, oh, that's a funny picture or like, where you get that coat Is from? it the one that's on sign, Jacob, signed on Jacob's desk? That was his birthday present, yeah. Oh, happy birthday, Jacob. Thanks. When was your birthday? January. Lovely. What date? 21st. 
January 21st. Does this have to be the Patreon episode as well now, Jacob? <laughs> <laughs> no, Jacob's good. Like, just like, <laughs> fucking 20. We were like, oh, let's do it. Let, let's record the third one. Just fucking so, 17 episodes. So of- good at getting information <laughs> about people. <laughs> Please send me birthday cards. Liverpool Podcast Studios. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can dox him. It's okay. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Uh, I won't send you a It's card. called advertisement, you know, in his case. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called advertisement in his case. Um, I don't know, man. Like, I think you can really lean into the whole comedy poet type so even if you if you type in shit like i'm a comedy poet you yeah. know and and you can write a little like because i'm a shit at poetry obviously, yeah and you can write like a little poem which is oh, that's not nice. i could do the whole like violets are red uh, uh roses are blue and i'm colorblind yeah <laughs> something like that <laughs> yeah here you go yeah. just like a little cheeky joke you know hmm so hold on before you met your missus have you ever been on other other dates so that's the only I, I, girl I, 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 i've I've had ex. I've had an ex girlfriend. Oh yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But hold on. How old were you when you met your missus? I missus? was nineteen. Okay, nineteen. Nineteen years old. How how long you been with her? Uh, this is the eighth year. My math is twenty six. You said you're twenty. How old are this you? Is the, this is the eighth year. So twenty six. You are. I'm twenty six. Ah, okay, yeah, okay, yes, okay. So I thought. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's all right. Don't worry. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> It's fine. You can I don't like when they take the piss out of me, I'm bro. not taking the piss. I'm just being educational. Um, my my math is bad. Hey, it. listen, bro. It's my second language. <laughs> why, did, why does nobody give me any props? Motherfucker, this country needs to pay some more respect. Put some respect on my name. Actually, now you said that, I respect you. You know how difficult it is to be funny in the second language? I don't know because I'm never funny. I just scream a lot. <laughs> it's not easy, bro. It's not easy. You think it's easy? Do you know any second language? Yes. Which one? Uh, you won't know it. Which one? Uh, Ryan. Ryan, yeah, yeah, you have your own language, yeah, yeah. You nerd, are you into Star Trek as well? Uh, no, no, I've Fuck never really got that. Like, so. Star Wars, Star Trek, get the fuck yeah, out yeah, of Star- here. Yeah, 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 I've watched them. I mean, I watched a bunch of Next Generation when I had a thyroid problem when I was off work, off school. But other you, than that, 50 no. lad, what the fuck's happening? <laughs> thyroid problem, Thyro- yeah, thyroid what problem. What is that? <laughs> it's something wrong with your neck. So, I actually looked like a, a character from Star Trek as I was watching Star Trek. <laughs> with that beard, yeah, yeah, you never yeah. Uh, well. <laughs> Uh, no, I do enjoy that stuff. And when I say I'm dyslexic, so I technically have my own language, which is <laughs> words spelt wrong, but they look normal to me. That's called my childhood. That was so bad in school, you know. No, like, because uh, I'm a massive nerd. I, I love pop culture and like yeah. wrestling and comic books. I go to conventions. I'm going to a wrestling convention in two weeks with oh, my missus, nice. right? Yeah, but Star Wars and Star Trek is so fucking dumb. I don't get the appeal of it. You, I, do, I just don't gonna, get it. You've got to make a lot of enemies. By saying that. That's okay. We want to go viral. That's the only reason we you do You want to go podcast. viral? Yeah. The, okay, just... Doesn't matter for what. Right, Mate, okay. Me and Liam Tuffy, we made fun of Indian names for seven minutes straight. And we're pulling up people from Facebook and roasting them. Do you know how difficult it is to white guy? I mean, I'm white-ish or whatever. I don't know You're where. White, off-white. Listen, I, <laughs> I'm olive. I'm olive oil. You know, like <laughs> on the spectrum of whiteness. I'm somewhere there. I don't know where I am. But like, do you know how difficult it is to have a... Crazy white producer on the uh, behind the stuff. <laughs> yes, right? Liam Turfey who looks like a school teacher. You know, what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> he can be like an accountant for like a white supremacy group. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then you have me and making fun of Indian names for seven minutes straight. You <laughs> yeah. know how difficult it is. But we made a little clip for Instagram. That yeah. clip at the moment is twenty seven k. Oh views. wow! Okay, yeah. right. Okay. Mostly so... negative comments, by the way. Nobody's <laughs> liking it. <laughs> but yeah. it's viral. But right. you know what I did? Because no. you know you do the hashtags, and I did hashtags in Hindi. So yeah. I went to Google Translate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I don't give a fuck, bro. Could you do hashtags in Hindi for this? But absolutely nothing to do about it. Sure, <laughs> let's do it. It's like when people go, I don't mean to be racist, but... I don't get the appeal of this. I, 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 just, I, I don't mean to be racist, but uh, what time's the bus? <laughs> so, just, so, so you can bring people to think you're being racist, yeah. but actually just be yeah, that's, absolutely that's normal. That's a clever idea. So that's the thing. I just want to... At, at this stage in the world, we just need to go viral. That's the only... Okay. Doing a podcast and having natural growth and building a relationship with the audience, that doesn't work anymore. You know what doesn't go viral? What? Marketing techniques about podcasts. Uh, so. <laughs> well, we're not going to clip this <laughs> part. <laughs> we're going to clip the previous part. Oh, okay. Yeah, which know? part? So the that's Patreon. it. As long as we go fucking viral, we don't care. Yeah. That Indian video is mostly dislikes, by the way. People calling us assholes in the comments. It's mostly me on all my different accounts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And typing something in Hindi, probably not good, you know, but that's it, you know? I yeah. don't care, bro. I just don't care. You are good. Like, Fair play. This is all in your second line. I think, I think, Jacob, you should give him a round of applause. 
And there Ben as well. He's not listening, but give me, there's a second producer I mean, have, you, have you noticed how I, how I asked, like, I'm commanding Jacob. And yeah, I man, like you it. have it's a present. It's a power, isn't You've it? You've been here one hour and you're already commanding me. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, you yeah. have a present. You should give yourself a round of applause. I should. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> That's lovely. Thank you. Thank dance for me. That. Dance for me. So, <laughs> so welcome to the Ryan Kenny show. <laughs> uh, we're going to do some segments now, aren't we? Oh, we want to do a segment? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I guess we're doing some segments. Let's do a segment, okay? So, <laughs> you love this new I, power, don't you? I knew this was going to happen. Look at the way I'm sitting in the chair. <laughs> yeah, man, you're commanding power. You're like... my accountant, but I am the mafia boss. <laughs> yeah, you are. And I'll be like, hey, forget about it. You'll be like, no, we we'll never forget about no, it. You no, remember no, it. No, forget about it. <laughs> okay, let's see. We have some time, yeah? We yeah. Have some time? We have some time. Ryan, Kenny, do we have some time for uh, a segment? Yes. Okay. Okay. So, should we do a segment? We'll do a segment. You want to do Would You Rather? If that's if that's what I've got planned, yeah. Yes, okay, that's okay. what we're doing. <laughs> uh, my it's girlfriend episode. wrote a couple of Would You Rather uh, questions for the podcast, for the Ryan Kenny podcast, and I'm going to ask Mike Yannick. You want to do the intro? Uh, the, <laughs> tell the segment. No, no, you do okay. it. Okay, se- this segment is called Would You Rather? Girlfriend edition. I should have done the intro. Do it. Okay, uh, this segment is called Would You Rather Girlfriend Edition. Nice. See, here you go. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, so his girlfriend wrote some uh, questions for us. Yes. And uh, our producer, producer Jacob, he's going to read a few whenever he's ready. We're waiting on him. I'm just... Uh, any second now. Any second And we're now. starting, Jacob. Whenever you're ready, you can read any the question. Any second now. And we're on the clock, people. Uh, would you rather lose the ability to read or lose the ability to speak? Uh, well, we've already established I can't do either. <laughs> uh, Bro, we inst- we're stand-up comedians. Of course. <laughs> uh, what are you talking about? Like, all we do is talk. <laughs> I didn't write them. <laughs> you still you need to step your game up, woman. <laughs> no, I, I prefer to lose the ability to speak. Really? Yeah, because you can still communicate without having to speak. Where if you use the ability to read, you don't know where the toilet is. You can see the little, you know, yeah, but so, 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 so can I see? But that's a symbol, so I won't be able to read. A little picture of a squatting person? Yeah. No, Wait, come on. What toilets have pictures of squatting people? <laughs> Normally, it's just like a, a white dude <laughs> just like stood like that at the back. <laughs> it's like how I stand at the club. In, <laughs> in Bulgaria, because they have to explain what you need to do when you're inside, you know? Oh, what's it called in Bulgaria, the toilet? Toiletna. Oh, that's imaginative. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> toilet. It's like, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, well, that's a stupid question. Next I one, check it. Yeah, uh, next one. Would you oh. rather have a third nipple or an extra toe? Uh, an extra toe, because can I can I decide where it's located? Yeah, wouldn't it be on your foot? No. <laughs> okay, in your forehead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I, because I'll use my big toe and put it on my hand, so my hand has like two thumbs. Hell yeah. Ooh. And I'll be able to do like all the things I can do with two thumbs. Okay, okay. Like open up two Coke tan- yeah. tins at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What would you like, Mike? I'd probably get the nipple. It's a nipple. You could be so the I like to play guy. with my nipple, so I have another one as well. So Where would like, you have it? In the middle? In a chest. Would you not want to have it in like in a surprise place? Oh, that's clever. You know, on my butt cheek or something. Yeah, so yeah. every time I sit down, I get aroused. Like, I, I mean, I get aroused anyway. I'm yeah. such a horny guy. But like, I just sit on my and be like, oh, oh, oh. Mm, that's interesting that because a, a lot of people I think mo- a lot of people have third nipples more than you'd imagine third nipple yeah, yeah, yeah. really yeah have you ever seen a, oh, what is it is it Total Recall with the lady with the three nipples was it oh she has three tits well that means she has three nipples when I was a kid I thought that was real <laughs> like when we were kids I don't know about you but I was like first time I saw it my dad used to show me all the inappropriate movies at like 10 that's oh, why that's I'd... a really big surprise to me I'm the way I am yeah, yeah. just like all the crazy movies I've seen. And, bro, I've seen Robocop. I remember I was six or seven, yeah. and we go to the video cassette store or whatever, and it says 18 plus, and mm. you cannot tell it. You cannot take the... the... Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, okay. That... I, won't, I won't put this on the screen. Don't worry. Okay. Don't. Yeah, because I have to. Is uh, that a man or a woman? Well, well uh, we don't know. It's just Either way, I'm nipples. interested. Let's go. Uh, yeah, okay. So I'm currently looking at someone with three nipples. Uh, you know, I've also got an admission. I've never seen Total Recall. I don't know why I said it. Yeah, don't, don't pull up the tits because I have I to... I won't. Don't worry. Because YouTube are very <laughs> sensitive about women with three tits. Ooh. That's really annoying. Like, YouTube won't demonetize men's nipples, but they will women's nipples. Really? And I think that damn patriarchy, eh? 
Ah, I think we need to free the nipple, you know. Yeah, yeah. Hashtag free the nipple. But what's that in Hindi? <laughs> oh, see, we do that in <laughs> Hindi. Yeah, yeah. And stick that on the. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. This and can get viral. Yeah. I saw Robocop. I remember we go to the cassette store and the lady behind the counter, because I went by myself, you know, mm-hmm. uh, can I have Robocop? She was like, it's 18 plus. And I was like, okay. And then I went and told my dad and he went and got yeah. the movie for me. And then we watched it together. Like, I was seven. You're not supposed to watch Robocop. He's like killing down people and stuff like insane. So I've seen all the crazy movies. Yeah, okay. Terminator. I saw Terminator when I was nine. I've seen like one movie. You know, what, which one? Chicken Run. Chicken, ah, uh, no, there's no way you've seen only one movie. Uh, one, well, I've seen more, but Chicken Run's the other one you need to know about. <laughs> Chicken Run is a masterpiece in art. What is it? Explain. Have you me. never watched Chicken Run? No. I've heard about it, but it's, it's like a claymation animated thing. Oh, I hate that. That's no. weird. That no, why do you hate that? That grom- Gromit and a yeah, guy, yeah, old guy with made the, nah, of Gromit. No, that. no, because the comedy is perfect in it. The animation like, looks so weird. turning chickens you know? into pies. There we go, Chicken Run. I don't want to be a pie. <laughs> <laughs> That is honestly, mate. You go home, watch that. You'll forget all of the movies. That's terrifying. Look at her eyes. And Mel Gibson plays an angry. Chicken. Oh, does he? Well, he is an angry chicken. He yeah. plays an angry cock in it. <laughs> Give us another one, Jacob. Would you rather? Let's do two more. And... Can I make one up? Yeah. Yeah. Would you rather have nipples? Say it to the mic, though. So they Would you hear. rather have nipples on your fingers or fingers on your nipples? Oh, fingers on the nipples, that's going to be a problem, dude. Because <laughs> like a whole finger on your nipple. Yeah, yeah, How yeah. many fingers? One. Just, just one. One finger. Come on, dude, look at that. How am I going to put your <laughs> clothes on? Well, I've got to say, I have an issue where my nipples are permanently erect. So it is like I have two like little fingers on my nipples anyway. Do you play with your nipples? No, I can cut glass with them, though. <laughs> <laughs> you should try it fucking, boss. Yeah, no. No, Next like, time you're with your missus, just fucking try it. You know? uh, it's I, fun. I don't think she'll appreciate if I'm just stood there with... Play my nipples right there. <laughs> no, no, she has to play with your while, nipples. Whilst we're having <laughs> steak and chips. I don't think she'll appreciate that. You're there in the corner, yeah, she's, just like that while she's cooking. Yeah, just like... yeah, she's told me before, don't play with yourself while I'm eating. <laughs> and and oh. I, heed, I, heed, I heed her advice. Uh, I'd, I'd like to have nipples on my fingers. Uh, because well, Only one, innit? Let's say the pinky. I want to have the pinky to be like a nipple. Yeah, because okay, yeah. like you don't use it that Cause, much. Because like you know, you can just sort of oh, just fiddle with your. Oh, that's clever. Yeah. That. Like when you you know, like you know, just sort of just a little bit of sen- <laughs> sensory. I told you, yeah, it's it's fun just to get the motor started. And you know? when you're being the accountant from the mafia, and you're like you're talking to me, ah, you yeah. can sort of whip your nipple around. Yeah, 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 and you get like yeah. this sensa- tangling this sensation. sensation, you know. Yeah, so bam, next one. <laughs> I love it. We're working through we're, these. I we're like rolling, this, right? bro. We should do a podcast together. We should, yeah. <laughs> How's it going to be called? Uh, the Ryan Kenny Show. <laughs> <laughs> Nipples galore. Let's go. <laughs> uh, I'm enjoying this, by the way, friend. Any se- huh? I'm enjoying this. Oh, good, man. I'm having a good time. I, I like. So I'm going to have all the guests on camera. They've said that they like it. So I'm going to have like a little cutout on a certain and do like a little compilation of testimonials that people like the show, you know, the guests. Yeah, yeah. I, you know? I think, I think, I think. Jacob, this, whenever yeah. you're ready... Oh, you want another one? Yes, yeah. please, Jacob. Would you rather lose your eyesight or lose all of your memories? Oh, eyesight. Do you, what? Eyesight. Definitely. Mike, come on. How are you going to jerk off to porn? <laughs> Memory. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a point. <laughs> Wait, so are you, right, sorry, are you think there's a lot of blind people just sexually repressed out there? <laughs> How do you jerk off? Braille. <laughs> Come on, that's not a thing. Well, I've, have you, okay, you were talking about touching nipples earlier. That's like the best Braille. But I like to watch porn and touch nipples. It's even better. I don't, I think that's, it's mad that that's the first thing you thought of. What do you mean? Porn, of course. What, what else do you need eyesight for? I'd like to see my... My child for the first time. Nah, it's overrated. <laughs> they all look the same. Come on, baby's overrated. I have like a, but I, I come from a big family. Every two years, there's a new baby. They're like, oh, let me show you pictures. I don't give a fuck. They all look like me, okay? We all look like fucking, you know, Italian waiters. All you know really what I'm small. <laughs> yeah, they're all small. With goatees. With goatees. <laughs> Even the women. Everybody's mustached up. <laughs> mustached up in my family. I don't want to see the fucking baby, okay? I have shit to do. I need to watch porn. Leave me alone. <laughs> my phone isn't off. My miss is always, oh, I tried to call you seven times. What are you doing? Oh, sorry, I was working. I was not working. I was jerking it. 
I like to jerk it, okay? Here you go. Uh, Patreon episode again. Let's go. <laughs> that's cool. No, I'm glad I'm glad I now know your habits. Uh I'll probably fist bump you next time we meet. Good. <laughs> you better. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know the thing is, I started because when I came to this country, so the best thing for me was when I come here, you know, you you start from scratch. Literally, I had no friends, nobody, right? So I start yeah. from scratch. And you can be whoever you want and you can rebuild yourself. Because yeah. back home, our friends, family, they all know me. And even if you show up with a new hat or something, if you try something new, everybody will be like, ah, look at you. You think you are wearing this hat, right? But here I can wear all the hats and all the glasses I want. So I decided when I came to this country, I was like, you know what? As I get more with age, I get more comfortable. Yeah. I'm 32 now. I'm comfortable with who I am. Oh, and I was like, I'm glad you've come to this. Yes. And I want to be an open book. And this is how I just live my life. And I, all the stuff I say on the podcast, I just don't care. I just say everything it is. Some people get like, oh, oh, I don't care, bro. I'm an open book and I'm so free. And it's fucking amazing. And I have bananas on my socks. You think I fucking care? Look at this. Look. Is Look you, at this. Uh, th- uh, the cameras. Here you go. Here you go. Here is with another one. And we're leaving. Last okay. one, Jacob. Well, last, last one, Jacob. Okay. Come on. Would you rather wear the same socks for a month or the same underwear for a week? Uh, well, I'm doing one of them now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, doing, I'm doing both now. <laughs> I, I, and if you both sniff, you'd be able to realize which one. Uh, I, I, you know, socks. Of course. Socks, because there's nothing of better course. than putting on a clean pair of boxes. Yeah. Every single day. Every every hour. Oh, like, damn. Yeah, 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 because I make a mess. <laughs> oh, yes, ladies uh, and gentlemen. <laughs> a, a pair of warm boxes in the morning. Amazing. Nothing beats it. Amazing. Nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, that being said, I love it. We hit the 30 minute time limit. Love it. If you want longer episodes so we can start doing 40 minutes, 45 minutes of this mayhem, patreon.com slash mechanic. When we reach a certain amount of people, they give us enough money, we can book this place for more and we can abuse Jacob for more. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Before we go, Ryan, plug anything you want to plug. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, yeah. Uh, follow me on Instagram, please. Ryan.kenny.comedian. Uh, there'll be more poems. Uh, just watch just watch me stuff absorb me content please dad plug your book as well oh my book oh yeah I've, I've released a book called Broken Tide A Tale of Two Brothers it's a Viking Saxon uh, novel series I'm working on the second one as we speak so thank you for having me Mike a massive round of applause Jake for Mike Yannick yes lad yes lad and that being said ladies and gentlemen <laughs> woo worship me see you next week bye boom